Hello everyone. Um, so this video will be about the big mystery of uh, leaking Shimano levers. So what I've discovered is that uh, the reason why you get leaks from the blade side of the levers is because the contamination that gets in the same way, so from the blade side of the levers, from the rear of the, the piston, um, is causing the piston to grind uh, the sand primarily against the cylinder wall and this is causing scuffing on the cylinder wall um, and possibly damaging the seals as well and uh, because of this you get leakage from the blade side of the lever and uh, when it uh, gets bad enough you will get probably uh, a loss of build-up uh, in pressure as well but that will happen with uh, some longer time and firstly you will have some major leaks from the blade side of the lever to the point where you will be afraid of using the brakes uh, so you might not feel that there is a loss of um, uh, build-up pressure but uh, it is very likely there that there will be some loss of build-up pressure so uh, why this is happening is I think because um, hydraulic brakes for bikes are just poorly designed there should be another type of seal like covering almost whole area of, of that uh, entrance uh, to prevent the contam contamination uh, of, of getting in into the cylinder so um, also funny thing uh, when you watch uh, instructional videos about bleeding the brakes they always say that you have to keep everything clean not to get stuff contaminated and things like that but in reality you're not throwing sand onto your reservoir or onto your uh, Shimano uh, this additional plastic reservoir uh, as opposed to the sand that is actually getting in uh, from behind of the piston just because the, the, the design is so so bad and uh, I don't think it's only Shimano problem I, I suspect it's probably most of the brakes on, in, on the market so if you're getting the leaks from behind from the blade side uh, that probably means that either you can try to polish the cylinder with some wet paper or you just give up and replace your lever because um, otherwise there's probably no hope so uh, let's have a look so i'm not i'm not sure whether you will see it or not but we will try to do the best job i can some angles okay so that's that's the bottom of the lever so the scuffs are on the bottom and and more towards the front so that's the front this side so they will be around here um, and why the bottom uh, is because yeah I think you will be able to see them uh, the bottom because the dust just uh, rests on the bottom and that's where uh, it will get through quickest and how I found out, I knew straight away when I pulled out the piston, look how scuffed it is. It's, it's, it's perfectly clean piston, this. And this gray side is the scuffing it gets. And um, at first I thought the front seal is okay, but then I realized after thinking it through that when the piston moves forward, this scuffed bit is moving where the seal is. And then when the piston moves backward, the seal goes where that scuffed bit scuffed the surface as well. So, so this, this, um, seal will leak, uh, later. So you will notice that your levers are leaking terribly, but you still can build up pressure. And that's what I have at the moment. So you've got little scuffing here, more scuffing there, terrible scuffing there, right? So, so the problem is uh, growing, growing, growing. The the the, the um, contamination is moving further, further, and and the scuffs are moving with the contamination, obviously, with with um, those sticking out bits. You've got um, focus. You've got plain 
Here that touches, that's the second plane that touches the cylinder wall and the third plane and then uh, the piston gets narrower so nothing touches there but unfortunately this plane here is enough to scuff the surface under that seal as well so maybe the seal doesn't get damaged maybe they both of them don't get damaged that's that's not original seal that's the o-ring i bought to try and fix it i will try to um even out the surface with some wet paper the the sand paper that you use uh, water with and maybe this will improve things and prolong the life of those levers but it's it's not certain so i managed to get um that's the original uh ring and i got comment from the guy in the in the seal shop and that they are quite nice quality very soft and 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 uh, nice this is what i bought and they are very similar to that front uh, seal that is building pressure but i don't know the dim dimensions because i didn't uh, take out the the front one and that's this maybe will go as the back one but i'm not sure yet and i got two sizes of rings uh, because uh, the the rear ring um, someone noticed that it's not really crucial for it to be u-shaped and uh, some person had uh, some success with just replacing the original seal with an o-ring you can't do that with the front because the front has to build pressure so um, i will i will just experiment and and try to figure out something uh, Another thing is I will try to make a ring with a hole like a, a rubber rubber ring uh, this is some kind of a mat I had staggering uh, groove here and you've got some room over there this is also a uh, machined so I think that maybe it's possible to like stuff a ring of, of rubber there and have a hole for this pushing rod this is what pushes the the piston and if this would go through the rubber and and have like a another barrier for the dust to go in then maybe it's possible to prolong the life of the levers so what to do to prevent this i don't think there is a way to prevent this um, other than to keep it exceptionally clean and never point any source of water into that cavity which i also did um, and i wanted to address uh, a comment that you can uh, often read uh, in in the youtube comments and on forums that shimano is bad company because they don't sell parts well now we know that it's it doesn't really matter whether they sell parts or not because unless you get a new lever body which would be probably exceptionally expensive and totally uh totally pointless to buy a lever body instead of a whole lever um, then you can't really be sure that you're gonna fix it i will also make few videos about how to uh, disassemble and reassemble a lever uh, in a quite easy way and also how to make a tool for the cigar ring so look out for that